everybody, I'm Jedi Jack Penguin, and today I'm bringing you another LEGO Star Wars review. So today I have set number 75247, the Rebel A-Wing Starfighter. This set contains 62 pieces and retails for $14.99 in the US. This is one of the first 4 plus LEGO sets, which is one of the junior sets for the LEGO Star Wars line. We get two very nice minifigures in here, an A-Wing pilot as well as C-3PO. I bought this just to take a look and see like how this set like would turn out and also I also bought it for those pieces right there which those are pretty nice for a regular A-Wing and we'll see how this sort of compares to a regular everyday LEGO Star Wars set. So this set came out back on January 1st, 2019, so it's one of the first Star Wars sets of the 2019 wave. We also get a new change in background scenery right here for the top of the box. We have the LEGO and Star Wars logo in black. We also get this very nice brick built sort of like background right there for it, as well as a LEGO Darth Vader right there in the corner, so that's pretty cool. We also get the warning of choking hazard right there at the bottom as well as the Disney logo. We get the back of the box right here which sort of looks like a regular junior set. You can also see right here that there is a big huge chunky piece right there to actually build the set. So I'm probably not going to do a speed build with this since it's like a very small set and it's pretty easy just to put together. By itself. Also on the back you get a better view of the accessories, the minifigures and the builds as well. We get the Lego logo, the set number and also some of the play features that you can just open up the cockpit and we also have the LegoStarWars.com and Disney logos at the bottom. We also have how to open the set, you just push that. We have the top of the box which has the Lego logo, the set number as well as the Disney logo. We have the name of the set in a different language. We have the actual size of the C-3PO minifigure. We also have some other miscellaneous information up there as well. We have this side of the box with the LEGO Star Wars logo as well as the set number. We have a better picture of the set. Really like the different types of blending used right there. Pretty cool. Really like that side of the box. We also have this side of the box which has that same sort of like brick format right there as well as the choking hazards in different languages as well as the LEGO logo set number and Disney logo. And then finally we have the bottom of the box which has the Junior's sort of like flag right there in different languages as well as the Disney logo. We have StarWars.com, the LEGO copyrights and stuff as well as the barcode right there. So if you're looking for the set that is the barcode for the set. So. Yeah, that's pretty much all for that, so let's open this up and see what's inside. Okay, so what we get are two unnumbered bags right there. Since this is a nice $15 set, that's why it only includes the two bags. We also get this big piece right here, which this is very cool since it's sort of like a nice big spaceship piece. I think this might also come inside one of the LEGO Movie 2 sets for that Benny's spaceship right there inside that other 4 plus set. But you know, this is actually a pretty cool piece, I actually really like that, so I don't know. We'll have to see what it looks like completed. We also get a nice instruction booklet right here which, as in all the other 2019 sets, you can actually find the instructions on the LEGO Life app. We have the Bax which has the Win Robot. We flip open once right here, we have the piece count for two pages, and then we open up one more time, we have some very nice advertisements for the 2019 LEGO Star Wars sets. We have a page with all of the minifigures that are included inside some of the separate sets right here, which is pretty cool. A lot of very nice characters included within this wave, but nothing really too special. We move on over here, we actually have all the sets listed right here. We have the one Microfighters double pack which I'm interested in getting but I'm probably not going to get it quite yet until it drops down pretty low. We have the Death Star escape set right there with Luke, Leia and the new Stormtrooper minifigure which I'm probably not going to get that. We have two of the new Clone Wars ever sort of sets right here which those are pretty nice but they're rather too expensive and this one's practically a carbon copy of one of the older ones that was released back in like 2014-ish. We also have two new battle packs for 2019, which I own both of those and I plan on doing reviews eventually. Probably next week I'll have one of them up. And then we have the last two individual micro fighters, both prequel based right there, one with Darth Maul and one with young Anakin Skywalker. So yeah, and then you just have the Lego Life app, how to get the instructions and then the final overall models. So yeah, I'm going to lay out all the pieces 
We'll take a look at all the pieces and then I'll take a look at the overall model. Okay, so here are all the pieces that are included within the set. We get our two minifigures right there, as well as numerous exclusive pieces that are printed. So one thing about LEGO Juniors or LEGO 4 Plus sets as they're now calling them is that they have only printed pieces and no stickers are ever used within them which is just like crazy how much money that they actually pour into these Junior sets. So as you can see like right here we have four newly printed pieces. Starting over here we have this piece right here in red which is a new printed piece. I'm just gonna move us over here so then we can take a better look at it. So we have this nice cover piece right here which has a very nice print right there on this piece. Mm -hmm. It's just crazy that LEGO actually printed this on this piece and didn't just leave it blank or give us a sticker for it. We also get two each of these 2 by 3 slope pieces right here which these are very nice. They have a very nice print on them as well. We also get this 1 by 4 yellow tile piece with these black stripes on them just as caution right here. These are pretty cool. And then finally we get this 1x2 tile piece in dark gray right here which has some control printing right there on it. So that's also a very nice piece. Other than that we get these pieces. We get two of these for the A-Wing right here which these are pretty cool to get in this set as well. And then the big monster piece is this big huge piece that you start building the set with which I mean I've never seen this piece in my life. This is just like a crazy huge piece for a Lego Star Wars set so I mean it's just it's just very interesting this piece and I don't know if it's any in any other set so it's very nice to get this piece as well. So yeah that's pretty much all for the pieces that are included so now I'm going to finish building the model so then we can take a look at the overall model minifigures and extra pieces and whatnot. So yeah let's take a look at them. Okay so here is the overall model for the A-Wing set that we got here. So we only got one extra piece since this is a junior set. We got one of those black Technic pins right there, which is used on the back of the A-Wing just to hold in the engine pieces. So yeah, let's take a quick look at our minifigures and then the overall final model. Okay, so here is the first minifigure that we get right here, which is C-3PO. He comes with two of these white stick pieces right here with the circular piece right there on the top with the stud on the front. Just to call in the ship, just to make sure it lands nice and safely, he comes with two of those. One for each hand, we can remove those as his accessories. His overall design is pretty much the same as it's been for a while. I think this minifigure is the same one that also comes inside that Micro Fighter set. He has some nice printing on his plain golden legs right there, some printing on the front of them, and also on his hips piece. No side leg printing, no side arm printing. He has some regular golden arms and hands. He also gets the printing right there on the front of his torso. Very nice, really like the design of this minifigure. Glad that they kept him the same. He also has the printing on the back of his torso, and he also has an exclusively molded head for his minifigure, which also has some printing right there on the eyes to just brighten it up a little bit. So yeah, that is all for C-3PO. The other minifigure that we get is the A-Wing pilot right here, which he has some regular green legs right there, which also has some printing. He has a white hips piece, which has the continuation of that printing, as well as a green torso piece, which has the printing continued right there. This minifigure overall, I think, is just beautiful and is just an amazing inclusion within the set. And it's just, it's just very nice for like any Star Wars collector out there. He has some black hands and some regular green arms. He has a little gun as his accessory. There is no side arm or leg printing. He has some printing on the back of his torso. Very nice. He also has one facial expression right there. You can take off his helmet just to double check right there. That is the one facial expression. And he also includes a very nice new helmet piece right there. Not new mold wise, but new in very nice printing right there. Really like how it looks, so yeah, that is all for the A-Wing pilot. As for the builds that come with these minifigures, we get a nice little A-Wing build as well as a nice little side build right here with some other accessories to help fix the ship if need be. Taking a look at the first build that we get right here, which is the A-Wing Starfighter. This includes a majority of the exclusive pieces. Like I said before, all junior sets come with these very nice printed pieces. We have two over here, one over here. We also have a 1x2 tile piece underneath that. 
It's just very nice overall. Also really like these nice white pieces right here for the wings. And also we get these black pieces right here as the guns for the sides of the ship. And then the overall base is just very nice in general. We have some engines on the back of it. We also have the availability to open up the little cockpit right here. And then we have our A-Wing minifigure. We can remove his accessory and sit him down inside the vehicle. Very nice. They do have two nice little 2x2 two two studs right there for us to lie him down right there in the ship. Put him nice and happy. And there we go. He's inside the ship. Really like how that looks. That looks very nice. I think that they did a really good job with capturing like the overall like idea of this ship. Though I'm not really a fan of like how easy this was to build and it's not really like my type of style of building. I just think that they did a really good job with what like the source material and everything for the overall design of it. And it's just very nice for like $15 if you don't own an A-Wing Starfighter then like this is just a very easy way to get it. And then along with that we get this nice little platform right here which I really like that nice green color right here used for that platform. We also get one of these triangular pieces right here in that tan color. We get a little bit of greenery right there which covers up one of the studs right there but you know I'm, it's, it's just like something very basic just to complete the piece count. We also get these two little accessories right here which we can also give to C-3PO if you so desire, which these can slide in and out very easily. You can put them inside a minifigure's hand so then they can just like work on the ship or whatnot so then it's all nice and good. Which you can also put these pieces right here as well into them compartments as well. And then we have this 1x4 tile piece right there just right before it. So, I mean, overall, I just really like how this model looks, and it's just very nice for the price. Overall, I wasn't really thinking that this set was going to be very good since it had, like, the 4 Plus on it. Since I know it's not really, like, at my age range of what sets I usually buy. But the overall design and the minifigures included, I thought were very nice. And also the bonus of having a variety of printed pieces made the set very desirable. And also I bought this for $11.99 instead of the $14.99 price, so that's probably another reason why I really enjoyed this set. And also it gives me a regular version of C-3PO, which I don't think I have one of those like handy at my hands right now, since I use the Force Awakens polybag version for whenever I'm taking pictures and stuff of him, so. And also that A-Wing pilot is very nice in general as well, so yeah, that's pretty much all for this video. Remember to like and subscribe and hit that bell icon to know every time I upload a new video. So yeah, that's it for now, and I will see you next time. Bye!